Oh, okay, it works. Good. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64. In the last episode, we missed a lot of things, and it was a long recording session, but I got it all done. It's a mutton chop right there. Anyways, let's go to Cool Cave, which is a cave that's cool, and that's why it's cool. I don't. I think this is the only level in the game, and this the world that doesn't have fire in it. Which is kind of funny, because this is Hot World, and it should have fire. I guess it's like this is like one of the little levels where they like defy everything. This level's weird. To anyone who knows what I'm about, to, what I'm about to embark on. Anyone who's played this game knows exactly what I'm about to embark on. Oh god. I like do it like this. How the hell do you? It's up there. Bitch. As you can see, that thing will unroll itself, I guess. A lot of things this level have been unrolling themselves on. Oh my goodness. I don't care. This guy helps, doesn't he? Yeah. Fuck you. Hey. I'm getting high enough, that's not like getting far enough, I guess. There we go! Jesus! And all I get is freaking diamond star thing. Love you, game. Love you. So much. Oh. Dick. It's like, you can't go here. The walls... Even the ceiling says no. You bitch. You are a bitch, sir. This part is where you actually have to let them fall. If I'm correct. Smart puzzle. Ooh, shiny. Bitch. Can't survive my world. It's my world, man. Also, anyone who forgot you can ground pound things, don't forget about that, because it does come in handy to know that. But remember, that's also your only. what's really considered an attack. Even though this does hurt people, it is not actually considered an attack by the game's stuff, so you can't break things with it. Where's this lead? Oh, treasure room, okay. Cool. Got a cool thing. What is that? I don't know what that is. I think it's an icicle or something, or a crystal. I don't fucking know what the fuck anything is. And this leads... This. Like a glove. Now where am I... No. Is that where I want to go? Is it where I want to go? No, it's not where I want to go. This is where I want to go. Wow, this is actually very kind of... This is kind of annoying. Uh-oh. That there is a good little enemy who tries to eat your face off. Also, this is the part where you can control it. So make sure you don't control it in the wrong direction. Okay, this guy, I forgot you can kill these guys in a couple episodes ago, if you remember correctly. And it was pretty funny. Uh oh. That one's rather large. I don't know if you can kill him. Comments below. Can you kill him? Video response. Let's try it. Let's try it. Doesn't hurt not to try. But it actually gives me some bunch of money to try. Money! Oh, you can! Hey! Cool. Uh-oh. Okay, it gives you like that ouchie. Gives you like that ouchie, you know. Just, oh, I see that ouchie. Oh, there's a way to do this. Oh, 
Oh, yes, this puzzle. Basically, you gotta let this guy not get killed. So what you want to do is not be a pussy and just let him go. He can do it. He can crush anything. He's a big monster. What's this? Oh, it's the music of Cool Cave. Ouchie. You a bitch. Also, don't get crushed against the ceiling with these things. Hi, Duken Bird! Hi, Duken Pear! I'm never gonna forget the day I got banned from, <laughs> from Kirby Wiki for doing that. I love the shit the internet does. There we are. Let's go up here and see what this is. Just quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of money. Let's get out of here. Mr. Lump. Mr. Lump. You're a mean one. Mr. Lump. Is it possible I can, like, get in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, girl. What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, that's where you're going. Okay. That's a cool design for a crystal thing. I don't know what it is. Like a glove. Clever. 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 Okay. Clever. The water is out to kill me now. Even the frickin' water is out to kill me now. This is new. Actually, I think this is supposed to be like a drop, like drop from Kirby 64 recreated. And I kind of respect that they're using their old enemies in this game. They're doing a horrible job at it. Like, I can't even tell that was drop. If it was drop. Someone tell me if that was drop. Because if that was drop, I, I, I'm happy to see him again. But he wasn't really the coolest enemy. But he was a, he was a pretty, one of the enemies. A pretty enemy. One of them enemies that I wanted to see again. We all have that one weird enemy that we just want to see again for no reason. I think I remember Drop vividly in Kirby 64, because he's one of the three enemies that actually broke apart when you grabbed them over your head in that game. And it was him, Sandman, and uh, the bows from Zelda. If I, you guys watched the Kirby 64 LP, you'll know I pointed that out. And the bows would actually like break apart when you grabbed them, and it, I thought it was just the coolest thing when I was a little kid. That's why I, that's why I like Kirby 64, because I have a lot of fond memories of it. This game, I don't really have those kind of memories, but that's one of the reasons I didn't like this game, is it's just kind of too late for a Kirby game now. It's kind of like, no one really has memories of these games anymore. And I think any little kid, when they get to the age of LPing, they will say things like, this is a classic. Well, it will be a classic at the time, but I think it'll get a lot better ratings at that time than it is right now. I think Kirby 64 didn't get very good remarks back at its time either. Probably did get really good remarks, but that's besides the point. Goodness, pouring is going longer than I thought it was. I've only just started my first level of this episode. Well, it's a long episode then. Did I get all the treasure yet? No, I missed one. Okay, cool. Cool. Mr. Treasure, that's cool. I wonder if where it is. I wonder if where it is. Oh, it's the fire dude! Hey, little dude. Now oh, I can just get these. Well, I can get one of them. I learned a couple episodes ago that the diamonds and stuff don't appear here. Like everything else does. I think it wouldn't be that mean, would they? Before I go from this side, so we can get the frog mirror. I think the frog mirror is a dumb one, but I got I got it anyways. 
Oh, next level is the one I think it is. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it? No. It's the jungle. It's the jungle, but I'd be the one I think it is, though. Is that what I think it is? It's the fire one, isn't it? Oh. Okay, next level is kind of like that one with the giant flowers, but it's not flowers. It's freaking... Oh, uh, it's less... It's less... Girly. I mean, it's freaking... This is like the manly version, but still, I don't like this level. It's just—it's not a fun level. It's a little bit of a difficult level, even. This is actually a very boring level. Burn that meat! Make it all gummy and crisp. Yes, yeah, it's just dinosaurs. Good job clearing that meat off. Just a dinosaur. That didn't make any sense at all how that dinosaur just like... Never mind. This is Kirby's epic yarn. Doesn't need to make sense. They're Nintendo. Now this level is easy to find the treasures and stuff in. It's just not very easy to get the gold rating in. As far as I can remember. Because there's a lot of stuff to get hit by here. And it's all in bad positions. Music's kind of cool though, that's good. Is like a higher point in this thing? There's sort of a way to get him to go up. And why he has a pipe cleaner on his head, I do not know. I have a pipe cleaner on my head! I'm gonna do this someday, we'll walk around the update and have a pipe cleaner sticking to my head, and I'm not even gonna notice it. I got a pipe cleaner on my head! Oh, goodness, it's cool. That's what's special about the yellow ones. They're yellow. I usually fail at this. This is amazing. That's where I fail at. You can do it, Kirby! You can do it! Don't give up! The brave little toaster, I say, the brave little toaster! The brave little Chuck Tester! No! The brave little Chuck Tester. By the way, guys, if any of you do that... Damn it! That dinosaur stole my money! And that's why most people fail at this level. Them bees, I says. Yes, bees. Them bees. Them's bees. <laughs> no! Stupid game. more money this way and you also get treasure. Actually you get less money but that's besides the point. No! Actually Chuck Testa. Actually is Dolan, but still. Got it. Got it, bitches. Actually I can get the money back this way. Ouch! My money! You bitches stole my money! What's the point of this? Oh. Let's do it the easy way. The generic way. Now let's not fail this time. Like a glove. I don't know why I'm saying that so much. I saw that like, anyone has that, uh, Insta buttons on their phone will know what I'm talking about. But, uh, I, I, I where is that? It's from that one movie I never saw before, but, anyways. There we 
Okay, he's got a snail. Got a snail with the weirdest derpy looking face in the world. But it's adorable, so we're gonna live with it. These dinosaurs piss me off. I don't know why they piss me off. They just do. You deserve not your one eye and face. I mean, look at the snail. It's like... Mm. What are you doing, Kirby? What are you doing, Kirby? That was not in your contract. There was, there was never a contract. Doesn't matter. There's money up there, and you're not grabbing it. What the fuck is this dinosaur doing for me? Like, what's the point of you? Wake up! Now, some of these, if I remember correctly, have, like, something, like, you can get if you don't pull them. That's for all the years of pain back in Mole Hole. And that. Bit of like a, I'm a violent lizard abuser. This one. Worth it. Angry snail. Worth it. Oh, they don't fly right. What the hell? Oh yeah. And then we just got this the monies. I think it's everything. No, I missed one. So far at least. I'm not gonna miss one, I'm not that stupid. Can you actually grab these? Well, what's the point of being up here then? What's the point of the inside? You can't grab anything! Oh, that changed my answer. What's the point of being on the inside? That's stupid. Well, my quality is like bad in my TV right now. I don't know why. I'm getting money like crazy, but I ain't finding very many treasures. Prehistoric monsters. That's like a TV show. Is it a TV show? Hello, Mr. Happy Face! It's not a happy face, it's an exclamation point. Same thing! Oh, that mountain's removable. Never would have thought of that. Not an egg. Is that an egg or a mountain? Bronto Slad. Brown Slad, kiddies. Honestly, the only reason I missed a lot of treasures in this game the first time playing it is because I didn't actually know you could do the exclamation point. I didn't know what they were for. And I thought they were like fucking stupid pieces of shit faces. Oh! Okay then. It's a rutabaga! And there we have it. That's everything. The pepper. It looks like a rutabaga. I don't even know what a rutabaga. I don't even know what a rutabaga is. That's me. Don't even know what a rutabaga is. That might be me being American, but that might also be because I'm an idiot. One of the two. Either way, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, there will be tackles.